Paris' worst nightmare, one year ago, her nine-year-old daughter was happy and healthy. But just three days after receiving a flu shot, Mary Sue was paralyzed, diagnosed with a rare disease. So what happened? Joining us now is Mary Sue's mom, Carla Grivna. Carla, thanks a lot for joining us this morning. So thank you. What did happen? And are you certain, are doctors certain that there was a direct link between the flu shot your daughter received and her subsequent paralysis? The doctors won't confirm it or deny it. Her father, Stephen, and I are, due to all of our research, certain that this is what caused Mary Sue's condition. She was a happy, healthy, running and playing nine-year-old when this happened. There was no underlying condition. I mean, they did so many tests at the hospital to try to find something else that could have caused it and could not find anything. So after she got the shot, she appeared fine to you, right? But then what happened a few days later? Um, Monday night, the first day of Thanksgiving break last year from school, she was in third grade. She had been out running, playing, came in, had dinner, went to bed. Her father and I checked on her at 10 o'clock. When we went to bed, she was fine. She did not get up at 6 or 6.30 like she normally did and come in and say good morning. She... 7.15, I woke up and she went up. I went into her room and couldn't rouse her at first. And when I roused her, finally, the look on her face was like, help me. And she couldn't speak to me. She couldn't speak to you and she oh. couldn't walk. Unbelievable. Like every parent listening to this feels a pit at the bottom of the stomach. That is absolutely horrifying. How long before you were able to make the connection between her paralysis and the flu shot? We did not have a diagnosis of what was wrong for about two to three days. I went into panic mode at that point, dialing nine, calling for my husband, and dialing, and grabbed my cell phone and dialing nine one one immediately. Um, I rode with her to the ambulances. About three days to a week later, they took her for an MRI, and that's when we received the diagnosis of ADEM, which is also known as white brain disease or acute, disseminate, acute disseminated encephalomyelitis. Well, as you know, so many states now require this for kids to go to school. And as a result, the kids get it, and the parents feel obligated to get it as well. Are you now against the flu shot? No, I'm saying to parents, hear my story, understand what happened to my daughter, ask questions, be informed, and make an informed decision with your doctor's guidance. Carla, what, what, what types of questions should you ask, though? Ask what the side effects of any vaccination are. The most remote, even though, what could they do? What is it? Go up. And when you know vaccinations are going up, as parents, we're given a list of them and we can get them online of what vaccinations are coming. Research them. Ask your doctor questions. Ask good questions and make an informed decision. Yes. I mean, that seems entirely fair. Any physician will tell you, if he's honest, that this could be a side effect. And yet often parents don't know that. And I think you're absolutely right. Parents should be informed. Carla, thanks for joining us this morning. And our hearts absolutely go out to you and your husband and most of all your daughter. And if our viewers want to help Carla this morning and the family, uh, you can go to our website at foxandfriends.com. We've linked to the uh, GoFundMe page. Um, we should mention uh, she can, her daughter can only slightly move her legs now. She doesn't have any <laughs> fine motor skills and uh, she can't walk. She's currently confined to the wheelchair. So please go to our website this morning. Shocking. And help.